Sharky Breath. He plays video games. Hello and welcome back to God of War. More than enough beating around the bush. Let's get to Jotunheim. No more distractions. Mainly because there are no more distractions in the game that exist. <laughs> I have seen out every distraction that was available to me. So, let's see here. No. Yes, that one. Let's go there. You know, provided it works, but with the uh, Mimir head focal crystal thing that we're trying out, right? I can't move, so this appears to be a cutscene. Very well. Boy, the head. Yeah. Get ready. He's got to do the head wielding? Apparently he's got to do the head wielding. Great. Well, good luck with all this. Yeah, that. Oh, I haven't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Ah, uh, a little yeah, late for that. I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> Are you? Ready. Okay. Oh, that's unpleasant. I bet. Doesn't look like one. You kind of oh, appear. Boy. Oh, okay, okay. Now what? Oh, just turn it around. Okay. Great. <laughs> can you can you keep that function for later? I feel like Mimir heads shooting lasers. We could take advantage of that. Wait. Are you alright? He seems all right. He's fine. Be close. Well, what are we waiting for? I think it's far. I mean, we'll see. every realm has been roughly the same, stepping out of the temple, but this one's different. Interestingly, huh? I want, please, before we continue. Uh, sure. What's up? Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Okay. Why don't I wait for you here? It's just between you and the boy. You're not gonna be True. here when I get back. But if someone wants to fight, my lady sips soft, perfect sloshers. Hi. You done did it. Apparently. Sorry. And now everybody we can just to see this. Yeah. No privacy, apparently. Oh no! 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 What? Fine, damn it! Fine. What? Watch the head till we return. Oh, <laughs> I see. I see. I can do this. Great. No, no I can't. Great. All according to plan. Okay. I'm sure you'll be fine, Mimir. Ready. Cool. Come. Here we go then. What? Seems like an exhausting way to start your realm, what with a whole couple hundred stairs. Really? Well. <laughs> sure. Goat boy. Nice. Okay, well, I guess it kind of makes sense there wouldn't be a Temple of Tear here on the other side of the gate, but with this whole realm being off limits to basically everybody. But this sure is a lot of stairs. Good thing we're like, you know, we've got divine stamina and whatnot. Okay, but that's just like a giant glowing... It's just glow up there. It's just glowing. Is that cool? I... Is this the light realm somehow? I thought that was Alfheim. Okay. I see, I just stepped through. Sure, sure. All right. Well, they did like the sculpting, did the giants. Look, we're on the giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. Is that it right there? Is that as high as it gets? Huh. Nice of it to it. dump us at the top of the mountain. Well, I mean, we haven't done it yet. We did. Okay, apparently we did. <laughs> I guess we did it. Are we going to symbolically allow Atreus to carry the ashes for the last little bit? Because that seems appropriate. Oh. Taking doing? off the... What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Oh, the... the chain scars. Can we go now? We're so close. I'm having a moment, boy. Boy.
I knew it. Symbolic ash passing. You've gone through your puberty crisis. You're ready, I guess. I don't know if puberty crisis is the right... Wow, you got that back on quickly, that gauntlet. I thought that took a long time the first time. Well, whatever. It's fine. The chains are built into the gauntlets now. See, I can just slip them on and off. It's just the bandages that are making it awkward. That's got to mm. be it. What? Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Huh. Because there's nobody here? But normally, like, even spirit voices are audible to you, are they not? I probably shouldn't let you get too far ahead. Hello? Anybody here? I kind of doubt it. Hmm. Well, we got a couple things I can inspect, but... Yeah. What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgar. What was left of them. Hmm. There had to be some, right? There had to be some. Or this whole... Why carve all these faces? Yeah. What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? I suppose really it's possible. Hmm. Unless Tyr did all this. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. That seems to be the, pla the case. At least that's the angle I'm getting on them. How can you tell that it's them? Odin and Thor ruining... Oh, is it the runes there? Wow, that's a lot of runes. Look at this. Laura added. The dream of Midgard. Midgard was a dream of what could we could, what could be if we shared and collaborated. Jotnar, Aesir, Vanir, Elf, Dwarf, and mortals most of all. It was beautiful, but not everyone is capable of sharing. Some believe anything uncontrolled is savage and threatening, and so we were mocked and tricked and used and then slaughtered. Odin and his tribe were barred from our realm, but it was not enough. The wrath of Thor and his terrible hammer have thinned our number in Midgard to the brink of ruin. There is no option but to withdraw, while yet any lived to do so. Odin and Thor would have killed all the giants if they could, and they got away with everything. Well, so far. So far. I don't know if I'm in any condition to be taking on Thor and Odin. Oh, sorry. Thor and Odin, I was going to say. But, um, you know, I have a history. It might work out. Where are they now? The giants came back home so they could survive. But I'm not sure they did. Doesn't seem that way. Although they might not just be standing around in the entryway if they are here somewhere. You never know. Oh, another, uh, another big carving. Huh. Who's the guardian? Don't ask me. You're the one who can read stuff. Eh, just take your time. I'm not going nowhere. Can I sit on this bench? I cannot. Sitting is for the weak. The Guardian returns. We foresee Midgard's fate, overrun, a second hell. Neither Odin nor his dead may reach Jotunheim. The ways must be shut. The serpent and the Guardian remained. They alone shall keep our hope. When doom befalls the indestructible, only then shall the Guardian return. Until then, we await a better world, one without fear, without greed, without war. We wait for deliverance and justice. We wait for a champion. We will wait for word that gods grow good. Hope that world gets here soon. Yeah, who is the guardian? Serpent's obvious. I mean, can't miss him. But he seems to be taking a bit of a rest right now. On having, having to, you know, fight the zombie of the biggest giant that ever lived. That I don't. This place is dead. Yeah, one gets that yeah, impression. Why'd mom send us here? One question is answered and two more take its place. What's the question they got answered exactly? How get to Jotunheim? I mean, I guess I guess that might be it. Hmm. It's guiding my path. I can't explore the room. I have to go here. Okay. Sure. Well, what's here? Um. Wait, you did something. You did something. What did you do? Huh. One kind of gets the impression this place was waiting for you, huh? Okay, what does it say? It's your axe. It's my, is it? It's smaller. Is it? Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. Okay. She 
New Giants? It seems that way. So, That's this us. was the way... Okay. The first time we met the World Serpent. They were still carving at that point? Wow. No, no, they were... They had the gift of foresight. Right, somebody did. Their fight was Balder. Uh-huh. But that just happened. It kind of did. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. It seems like it. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. Uh-huh. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. Seems that way. But... I mean, I can't read it. What but... does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. <laughs> no way. Hmm. You didn't know. I mean... She was a giant. Was she now? Was she the guardian then? I suppose she must have I'm been. a giant. Y yeah, that's kind of how it works. Wait, are you the guardian? Anyone could be the guardian. Probably one of you two, though. Probably not she me. Sent us here knowing we would find this. Yeah, that that's definitely the impression I get. Why not just tell us the truth? Might not have been Wonder so simple as that. Good reasons. Yeah. Balder was never sent to find me. He was sent to he find was tracking her all along. Ah. Not knowing she was only ashes. Huh. If she had a plan for us. That's the oh. I trust it. Because I was carrying the ashes. Right. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. I mean, come on. That would seem to be we're the so case. Close to the end now. It's all worked out pretty well so far, all things considered. Like, we're not dead. Yes. Yes, we are. What's, what's this? What is that? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Huh. That's an interesting thing to see on a wall that has accurately predicted everything that's happened so far. You know, whenever I was talking about how pitting me against Thor was a uh, way to set it up for Odin to be the villain of a, a sequel, <laughs> I, um, I may have been a little hasty, it turns out. Anyway, I guess, Look, no... It's Mother's. Is it? She was here. Oh. She saw every step we took before we took it. H how did you know? But she was always with us. I mean... Watching over us. Leading us home. I guess. Let's finish it. Let's. Hmm. This little, uh, kind of a guiding path of red flowers, pink flowers, whichever. Hmm. How did... How are those the only thing that survived? Everything else is dead scrubs. Hmm. Up you go. What is that? Are these more sculptures, or are these actual corpses? Whoa. I don't think those are sculptures. Called him that.
if we hadn't known there was more to Faye than met the eye, we would certainly know now that her ashes are glowing and floating across the mountains on their own. Goodbye, Faye. Hmm. I love you, Mom. The giants. They really are all gone. Well, except for you and the serpent. There's nothing for us here. I guess. Makes you wonder oh. why Odin wants to get here so badly. I guess the answer to that is that carving we just saw, huh? So, I get that mother was a giant. Which makes me part giant and part god. Yeah. And part mortal. A little bit. Right. One point. I guess there's just one thing mortal. I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? <laughs> Loki. 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 Your, your... That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. Loki. Commonly considered to be the brother of Thor. Drove here in Last Wish. Yeah, I did it. Alright. Return to Tyr's Temple. I'm sure that'll all go without a hitch. No problems here. Guess it all makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? Be with Rakan? Yeah. Like, did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. It does seem oh. to concern you more directly. I know it can't be for a god. Yeah, you can probably uh, no. count on that one. <laughs> he was a soldier, a Spartan. The great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Mm -hmm. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. You may have noticed. Mm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. Hmm. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. <laughs> Actually told a good story. <laughs> but we are missed it. Take certain circumstances, it seems. Certain dire circumstances. Well, maybe not dire. Dire is not exactly the right word. But I guess that's it for Jotunheim. Huh. I was wrong. It seems nobody else has gained access in the meantime. Here I was worried. Alright, well, back to the stairs, I guess. I had been wondering why. I understand why. if you want to go home, but maybe helping people is part of why Mom sent us out here, too. I get that impression. Yeah. What would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Yeah. Huh. That's a weird name. <laughs> I'm glad we went with yours. Fair. I was wondering why you had a Greek-sounding name. I mean, 
I mean, this is Kratos we're talking about. He might just make decisions, but it didn't seem like Faye was that kind of person. Who would just kind of go along with... I mean, I, I don't know much about her, honestly, but that's the impression I got. Well, we're back. Lads, am I glad to see you. Wow, they just leave you lying there? <laughs> what happened, Lemire? Yeah. They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. What do you want to say? Measurements? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? <laughs> well, who knows? Maybe they're making you a body. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? That'd be nice. 100% complete. New game plus let to start a new game will maintain equipment hex over purchased items. I mean, sure. All right. So I did it. I did it. Apparently, yes, I did it. New game plus. There it is. Cool. Cool. Well, I'm going to go check in with the dwarves real quick. Because apparently that's it. That's the end. I mean, yeah, the credits were rolling that entire time. You probably noticed. But... I genuinely was expecting... I don't know what I was expecting. Some kind of resistance, I guess. But no. <laughs> Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you. About what? More time has passed than you ever realized. The snowball that began when you screwballed up has become something else. Really? The stuff of omens. Omens? For the coming of winter. Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. Huh. And when it's done. No kidding. Snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Need another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Well prophecy didn't count on you. Except that the giants prophecy clearly did. They carved me into the walls and stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Inside from which, how do you know all this? You were in Jotunheim just as much as we were. Well, that's fine. Let's have a look at all this snow. Oh, I suppose it'll be on the other side of the forge. Sure. Well, let's check in with the brothers. I'm telling you, it's Fimble winter. I can feel it in my scroll. You just had to say that. This is the big one. Mm -hmm. See that? Oh, you're making me very nervous. Yeah, well. It's bound to snow sooner or later. There ain't just snow and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of <laughs> Just discussing the weather. Yeah. Cold snap lately. You could what say that. Means is, winter's upon us, boys. Yeah. Winter to end all winter. That's what uh, Mimi was saying. You mentioned yeah. that. We we heard. We so did. If you're heading home, try to keep moving and also to not die. You got or it. If you're not heading home, same advice. Great. Great. Well, I feel like we took care of all the business we had to take care of. Any place but home. But first, I'm going to just step outside of the temple and have a look at this Fimble Winter you keep talking about. Oh, wow. Everything's taken on kind of a blue tone, hasn't it? Hmm. Is the, uh... Sorry, I was wondering if the uh, World Serpent was back up yet. I doubt it's going to let us contact him, but given that he's a giant and now it turns out Atreus is, you know, the other last giant, maybe he's got something to say about all that. Seems like something he'd want to know. Perhaps now's not the time. How about it, Mimir? Absolutely not. Well, I figure it was worth a shot. All right. Well, in that case, I guess... Let's go home? You saw the splash screen. 100% complete. Let's go home. You know, I'd, I would say that I should check in with anybody who... You know, one of those things where you finish a game and then you make the rounds and you talk to any people you met and see how they're doing. But I think the only person I met who didn't die is Freya. And I feel like Freya maybe doesn't want to talk to me probably not but let's just let's just check it's the only other person I've seen what? 
Brothers, there's another thing I must let you know. Okay. From the time you were away in Jotunheim. Sure. Well, tell us then. It concerns Freya. Yeah. She paid me a visit. D what? what did you tell her? What little I know about where Odin may have kept her Valkyrie wings. Oh. It seems she's rather bent on reclaiming her warrior spirit. I can't imagine why. I'm afraid the cycle of vengeance may not be so easily broken. Mimir's Tales. While we were in Jotunheim, Freya found Mimir to ask where Odin might have kept her warrior spirit. That's a little scary. Yeah, that's fair. I guess, I guess, yeah, Mimir wasn't in Jotunheim with us, was he? We tossed him back through the gate. Okay, okay. So, this thing that I'm doing right now is probably a bad idea, huh? <laughs> Still, I'm committed now. So let's go knock on her door and see what happens. Maybe I'll just die. That'd be something. Come to think on it, I feel significantly ridiculous for having worked so hard to um, fully upgrade this armor <laughs> so that I could <laughs> walk to the top of a mountain in Jotunheim. But you know, at least, you know, we're in, we're in our finest for the occasion. Since it's about as, I was going to say, as close to a funeral as Faye was going to get. But I guess we had a bit of a funeral for her, didn't we, at the very beginning. Hmm. Still, nothing wrong with dressing fancy. Freya! Atreus, to me! Okay. Knock, knock. Unsurprisingly, it does not offer an option to interact with it. Very well. <laughs> You know what? I had to try. I had to try, and it failed, and that's fine. Let's go home. Know any more stories, Mimir? Of course, lady, and yours for the asking. But I prefer the boat. In here is distracting. Is that supposed to indicate that you would tell us more stories if we went boating? Because I'm in the middle of transporting us home. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. We've heard a lot of stories. I hope there aren't. Well, no, it's possible there are more stories that he just decides to tell you after you've finished your main quest. But, um, I have no way of knowing, I suppose. <laughs> Aside from warping back out and getting myself a boat. But, uh, nah. Let's just go home. Wow, this is taking a long time. What's going on at my house? This is taking so long. Okay. Okay, I don't trust it, but let's do it. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Yeah. A bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Oh, right. I took you with me, didn't I, Mimir? I guess I didn't really fully consider the ramifications of that now you live with us. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. I'm, I suppose it's just as well that I, we didn't use up all your stories then, given that, uh, you live here now. Um, I think I missed the front door, didn't I? I think I did. I think I did. Okay. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Great. And we're back. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. I suspect you're not. It seems like it's gonna be a long one. Although, in principle, I approve. What's this? Oh, is this actually we're going to bed? Is that it? Well, all right. Let's um, let's do it. Okay. I didn't. Okay, this will do. Am I just sitting on you, basically? Sweet. Yes, I am. Way ahead of you. Take take the head off of there. We go. I hope you can sleep, Mamir, because do not talk. We are sleeping. <laughs> Years later. Oh, good. Yeah, this seems important. Did we actually sleep for years? Or... Hmm. Great. This, um... Freya? I'm guessing for... Not for... Not... Not Freya. Hello. Hello? Can I help you? Thor. Thor. He's 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 Thor. That's Mjolnir. Oh, that's Mjolnir. I've heard stories about that one. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, it seems I was right the first time. They were indeed setting up a sequel. And now we get the credits again? No, I guess it's the rest of the credits. There are probably more than they listed off on that, uh, <laughs> in the uh, walking home sequence back in Jotunheim. Well, 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 well. I will tell you, when, when it came up that I'd be doing God of War on the channel, I had reservations. There were definitely things about the original God of War trilogy that were questionable. <laughs> things that I wasn't particularly excited about re revisiting. And the thing is that I didn't revisit them, I mean. This was, this was new. This was... They put a lot of effort into changing their approach to these games, and it did not go to waste. Wow. I was not expecting this to be as good as it was, <laughs> being perfectly honest. If you had told me that they would use the God of War series to make Kratos sympathetic in a human sort of way, I would not have believed you. Because his whole thing was always uncontrolled anger. And yes, he has he has pain in his past, but he doesn't acknowledge it. I mean, okay, 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 I didn't actually play God of War 3. I'm not in a position to judge the original trilogy. Do not take my word on this. Maybe the third one's great. I couldn't tell you. I know that they are well-regarded for what they were in their time. But some of the scenes... Some of the scenes in this game had real emotional weight to them, and I was not expecting that. The scene where Kratos finds out that Atreus is dying because he doesn't understand his own nature. The scene where, where Kratos decides to go and get the blades, reopening the door to his past that he had basically walked away from, was attempting to ignore. <laughs> there were a lot of scenes in this that were really powerful in a way that I genuinely didn't expect. And the, I mean, the gameplay was fun too. It was, <laughs> it was, it was entertaining, even if I. Uh, took an embarrassingly long time to get any good at the combat. Still, I was able to muddle my way through one way or another. Even if it did take me, you know, a good hour and a half to, <laughs> to, to finally survive the Sigrun encounter. But, it seems that that was meant to be, Sigrun was meant to be the optional, it's like the, um, the emerald the ruby weapon, if we're talking in terms of, you know, like in the past, the, the, from Final Fantasy VII. The, one, the bosses that you do not have to do, but if you're looking for a challenge, well, then feel free to do all the work necessary to go fight them. And I, I appreciate that. It wasn't necessary to save the Valkyries, but it... Not only was it a challenge, but it also had... theoretical weight, right? Him being in charge of you know, the fate of the dead. I, I appreciate that, giving the uh, kind of an in game reason why you'd even bother. <laughs> ah. Well, suffice to say, I very much enjoyed myself, and I hope you enjoyed this too, given that you're still here at the uh, end of the 64th episode. I have to assume you enjoyed something about it. Traditionally, I leave the credits in entirely because the people who worked on this deserve the recognition. They deserve to have the credits included if I'm going to play the game. But for the moment, I've kind of run out of things to say about it, aside from it was shockingly good. And I'm very glad I had the opportunity to play it. I don't yet know what's coming next. I'm kind of leaning towards Sekiro. It's been making a lot of uh, best of 2019 lists lately, and I've had had it burning a hole in my pocket, uh, figuratively speaking, since last June, I want to say. So, excited to see what that's all about. But, I'll find out. I'll figure it out soon. Thank you for watching.
I'm Sharky, and this has been God of War. I'll see you next time.
Ah, oh, dang it! I knew it. I I knew there'd be there'd be an after credit scene. Where's the dream? Fimbo Winter was ending. Uh huh. And Thor came for him. Uh huh. Here at the house. Yeah. It was only a dream. Yeah, I'm sure it's a dream and not a sequel. It felt real. Hmm. It felt like a premonition. The future. Hmm. Yes. We'll worry about it tomorrow. Woo. Today, there are still things we can do. Oh. Like all those side quests I already did? Yeah, it turns out there aren't. So, uh, I'm going to step out the door just to make sure. <laughs> but, I'm pretty sure there aren't. Hey, yeah, look at that. A whole bunch of nothing that's happening to us outside the house. Great. Well, then no point in extending the, prolonging this further. Congratulations on making it through the credits and seeing this scene. <laughs> I hope it was worth it to you. As it was to me. Great. See you next time.